Uh, there you go. But, <laughs> so I just kind of started experimenting with Facebook. I mean, I, I had a profile personally. Um, but just looking at some of the uh, gurus in the social media marketing field, apparently there's a whole field out there, people making millions of dollars about how to use a free site to make millions of dollars. Um, I don't know if you want to write down any of these names if you're interested in it. Uh, there's a guy called Brian Solis. Brian with an I, Solis, S O L A E S. Um, and there's a lady named Beth Cantor, B E T H K A N T E R. Um, and they're both big social media people. Um, I'm sorry, Cantor with a K, K A N T E R. T E R, sorry. Um, and Really, the truth is, when we first heard about social media and then wanting to, us to push it, I was like, why am I advertising on Facebook to people that don't know how to get on the computer? But let me tell you a quick story about um, some of you I've already told. But I had a friend from high school that I haven't seen since I got out of high school. It's been a really long time. Um, and we happen to be friends on Facebook. Uh, I don't think we've ever once spoken on Facebook. Um, but somehow, her mother, who doesn't know anything about um, as well as all this other exposure for the program. Um, some stuff that I have done, I'll just kind of show you my Facebook, which basically the, the principles that I've gotten from it, from all of the social media stuff that I try to keep up on, is give something to the people who want to like your page. Don't just obviously indiscriminately spam them with training times, training times, come to my class, come to my class, come to my class. I try to find, um, and especially if your Twitter and your Facebook are, are linked, um, a lot of people will post articles of interest and stuff on Facebook as well, but also on Twitter. I'll find a lot of um, like articles relating to digital literacy, especially if I can find something in Spanish. Um, and I try to be linked up both on Twitter and Facebook with anybody that's either in my county in the city that, that is my work site, Stockton, um, any Spanish-speaking nonprofit anywhere, because they will share articles that will be germane to people that are the target audience I'm trying to reach. So if there's anything about digital literacy, if there's anything about um, where to get cheap computers, or you know that that stuff that I'll share, and um, also. This is the new page design. I don't know if any of you guys have, have you've probably all seen it. Um, but they have this cover photo here. I've tried to do a little bit of magic with some of the photos that Jaime's done. I'm not very good with that, but I'd like to be better. So if anybody has any photo editing expertise, please help me. Um, part of the thing with social media that makes it attractive is there's a ton of nonprofits that are on Facebook and Twitter. and Google Plus, which I've also started a page on. Every tech-related nonprofit in the world is on Google Plus. Um, and, okay, so we're not reaching people that are going to be students in our class, but frankly, to get media exposure and to be one of the cool kids in the nonprofit world, you need to be hooked up with social media. You need to be hooked up with Google Plus. Um, to put it in a little bit of perspective, there's 845 million users on Facebook. That's like one for every nine people in the world. So that's, I don't know, to me it's just, it's a market that we need to be connected to. I try to keep things pretty, um, I wish they were a little more cluttered because I wish I had some more life, um, but I, you try to keep things pretty clean. I don't, I don't blow it up like every single day, but I try to keep it looking fairly professional, try to fill out all of the, you know, like, certain, you can fill out milestones in your timeline with the new, the way the timeline looks, so I've got like, for first graduation, I cropped that certificate of completion out and tried to unsuccessfully tried to edit it. Um, I posted some links here from Univision about cyberbullying, um, the deal about uh, Comcast Internet Essentials, some of the videos, some of the pictures, uh, when our first training. So these are some of the things you can do that sort of legitimate. Um, other things, obviously, on Twitter, I try to, anybody that, that says anything that I do think would be helpful um, to any of my uh, 
either partners or I'll try to retweet that. Um, this is all just basic stuff, but um, you know, like for example, there was a nonprofit the other day that said something about the new Facebook timeline, and I, I jumped on there to a little bit of shameless self-promotion. I said, hey, we just switched our, our Facebook over to the new timeline view. And so they look at it and uh, actually tweeted that, that we had done a good job, like retweeted our name, mentioned the name of the program, and said, we thought they did a very nice job with theirs. And like two, two tech-related nonprofits actually retweeted that. So that's, I think that's great exposure for it. Um, I don't know. There's not a whole lot. They, the only other tip that I sort of have is I actually also created a LinkedIn profile. I don't know if any of you guys are on there. Um, every county agency in the world has a Facebook page and every one of their employees has a LinkedIn profile. I actually have a connection to somebody who I found out is connected to the parent empowerment director at uh, Stockton Unified, which is the school district I work for. So now I had her name, I Googled her name and got a phone number for her. I didn't even know that position existed. But through that I made another contact. I also, there are literally spots on LinkedIn this is not like good social media marketing, but it will give you more exposure on people's pages, where they'll literally have a discussion on LinkedIn and say, um, post your Facebook titles here and we'll all like each other's pages to give people more likes. It's not like honest content generated good likes, but it is getting your name on other people's pages where there's access to it. There's people that like don't even live in this country that have liked my page now just because I posted it on LinkedIn. So um, I don't know if that's really all that helpful. It's all pretty basic stuff. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of you that probably have better suggestions for things that I could do better, and I welcome that. Um, if anybody has any questions, I guess I can try to answer it. I don't know that you will. Bueller? Bueller? Okay. Good deal. Would you mind showing Google Sure. I'm sorry. Can I do? That's still new, um, fairly new, I think. The Google Plus? Yeah. yeah. And so we're not, we're not I don't know what that LinkedIn pages, is. Sorry? I might just see what's that LinkedIn. LinkedIn? Mm -hmm. I, can, I can do that as well. Let me do Google Plus here real quick. Also, if yeah. you are in Google Plus, there's a, um, I, you can also Google do a, Plus. I've got a personal that's profile and a uh, county level page. You can, you can do that on Google Plus as well. And you can create custom uh, URLs Plus. for it. Uh, so mine is like this. And Google Plus has been trying to get itself to become the Facebook replacement. That's sort of how I. And the Skype replacement. And the Skype for kids right there. It's a chat or a hangout. The hangout function is a good way to set up a meetup with all of your friends so you can all see each other in the camera at the same time. Free. Which Facebook is now jumping on as well. Yeah. I saw a cartoon. The out, yeah. <laughs> I saw a cartoon the other day from uh, Larry Page from Google on a psychiatrist's couch. And he was like, <laughs> yeah, number one most liked page on Google Plus is Mark Zuckerberg's page. What am I going to do? I can't bury that guy fast enough. So, uh, anyway, this is basically, um, I don't have a whole lot of action on Google Plus yet. I'm trying to get more and more connected. And have you connected this list to Facebook so that every time you post here, something posts here and vice versa? Uh, I have not explored that. Okay, I'm sure so that there is a way to do it. Here, okay, I, I haven't heard whether there is a way. I, I, I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if there's not, right, there's because it's sort of a war. Or you can. Uh, there might be like a proxy way to do it, I don't know. Probably like Hootsuite or something where you can post all of them one Yeah, just a different, they're just a different market basically. Google Plus is Google's answer to Facebook. Although Google Plus does uh, revolve more around what they call circles, which is like, uh, my cir I have a circle for tech and a circle for community members and a circle for nonprofits. So I can post things to only certain circles, so not everybody that likes my page can see it. So it's uh, more selective, if that makes any sense. That doesn't really, that's neither here nor there for this page because I want everybody to see everything I post. But because it's new and trendy, every tech in the world is on it, and so every tech-related nonprofit is involved. Like literally, um, well, I won't waste your time, but if I were to Google nonprofit or if I were to search Organización Sin Fines de Lucro, you get like, tens of thousands of hits. Um, and th what's difficult with Google Plus is to, you cannot, as a business page, follow individual people. They have, to follow, they have to add your page to a circle first. So that makes it a little bit harder to generate buzz. The good thing about Twitter is you can just 
follow everybody in the world, and they can't really stop you from seeing what they're what they're posting, which is sort of a nightmare for privacy, but it's excellent for marketing. Yeah, it's just a question whether Google trusts them. Can they it or not? You know, yeah. Some people say that you know that the only people on Google Plus are Google employees. That's what they say, but there's 100 million people on Google Plus now, and it launched well, last year. But they say there's 100 million people, but I'm on Google Plus, but I don't use Google Plus. Right. Anybody that has Google, you know. Right, and their numbers are a little bit are a little bit funky. How they determine their numbers of users are sort of. Stuff. Sure, but while it lasts, mm -hmm. you know, um, you wanted to see LinkedIn? Right, and the good thing about it being for professionals is that I can get it. I can actually find the individuals that lead these organizations. Um, I promise I'm not on LinkedIn looking for another job. I'm just, just there. <laughs> I friended everybody that's my boss. You have to give professional networking tools. Right, and I literally, you know, at first I was only trying to find certain, you know, people that were related to it. But the more information you fill out on LinkedIn, like your education, employers that you've worked for, it won't let you link to people that. You requires you to put in their email address to send them an invitation to connect. It's, uh, it's also, um, I don't know if who, who all is on it, but um, when you are, even if you're not in the job hunt, you'll get contacted by recruiters and you do need skills. Hmm. And they won't be just, um, they'll be quality recruiters and, and quality organizations, not just anybody. They just move everyone else and basically. Hmm. So it's, it's definitely beneficial to your career. Uh, but I, uh, I went ahead and added all of my education, all of my work experience, just so, because like with the, the girl I connected with whose mom was on her Facebook, you never know who's going to know who. I actually, that lady at Stockton Unified, I think was a connection of yours, that I felt like a second degree connection. I couldn't connect to her because I don't know her, but I had her name, which I Googled to get her number. Um, it's sort of like being a little bit of a spy, but um, <laughs> it, it works. You just never know who's going to know who that's going to work out for you. So I think it's worth the few minutes of time invested, because the people that are on here are, there are professionals, it's not um, Joe Blow off the streets, it's just some guy, these are links that can be effective, um, and they, they're the names of the kind of people you want to be pursuing, um, so that's been, that's been good, I mean I've even done, so you can post statuses on LinkedIn just like you can on Facebook, um, it's probably because Facebook does that that you can do that. Um, but, you know, I've posted class information and, you know, our Facebook website. And, um, so it's just sort of a way to drive, I use it more as a way to drive traffic primarily to the county Facebook and the, the county Twitter account. Um, you know, we're still growing. It's only been around a couple months, so um, you're not going to see millions and millions. The, no, LinkedIn has been around. I'm talking about my, my county page and my profiles that I've put up. I don't, but you can. You can do that. I have yet to do it. Oh. So it's your personal LinkedIn. Right. Was right. Definitely not my space. Yeah. But Facebook too, it's just more open and sociable, but you know, when 